Okay, in this video, I will show you how to resolve the error JWT signature does not match locate, locally computed signature and uh, JWT validity cannot be asserted and should be should not be trusted. Okay, uh, this error occurs due to the signature and how often it changes. So what i did to resolve this uh, issue was uh, see when i generate this key here uh, it is getting generated every time when i send a request so what i did was uh, okay i need to generate it only once so i'll comment this code which i had done okay and i will use this code which i have commented so i was trying uh, i was doing a trial and error to check how to resolve this issue so it took me some time but it finally got resolved so what i did was uh, we have a private secret key so we initialize it first and then this will create a key a separate key for us only once okay and then what we need to do, we need to uh, return the secret key in this function. Okay, private key, uh, get sign in key. Okay, this key is generated only once and this will be stored in this. Okay, the secret key. Now what we need to do is uh, we need to remove this code where we generate token because for example this token will be expiring with it won't take any time to expire it will expire in milliseconds so we'll just comment this code and then we will uh, we will uncomment this here so here what happens is my token is where the token which which when I log in will be valid for one hour. So like that you can make it for 15 minutes and also you can make it for two minutes. So now I am using it for one hour. So one hour my token will be valid. Okay, I will post this code uh, in, on the GitHub so you can uh, download this code and use this code. Okay, so if I save now, and if I rerun my application, Okay, my application is on now and now if I go to the postman here and now if I, you know, I try to log in now. So I'll go ahead and log in. So I was getting 403 when I run this request uh, and the error which I had shown you. So now let me log in back again. So this is my login API okay and i will take this uh token jwt token from here now i will make a request to my other api using the token so i'll use this token which i have generated now okay and i will this is my body here so this is the data that i'm saving in the database so under authorization barrier token i'm using this token Okay, the newly generated one. I will send a request and you can see that the record has been created. Okay, so this was about the issue and how to resolve the issue. So like the video if you uh, gain some knowledge in the video. Thanks.